Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. Uh, members of my mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis, and today's question comes from Darren. He says, Simon, do you have any charts or paper in front of you when doing the one-on-one -on -one presentations, or how exactly does that work? Because I, w I would really love to move forward with my wall market. So... When I do a one one-on-one presentation, I always use the effective presentation formula, which is basically covers really quickly uh, the five basic things that uh, prospects want to know, which is the industry, the company background, the products, and the training, and how much money they can make. Those are five things. Uh, you can access my separate training about uh, how to do that. Okay, so, but in terms of resources, um, the first thing is the format of the presentation. Even though I used effective presentation formula as a guideline, um, the media may, may be different, and the format could be different. So, for example, you always you want to choose the format that's most duplicatable. So, uh, and, and it gives you the best impression. Okay. So, for example, if I'm meeting um, someone who's a Gen Y who grew up with computers, is familiar with the iPad, I love to do it. Uh, you know, I have the same slides I use, and I, I and I do um, an iPad presentation. Now, if it's for an older person who's more corporate, I may use a laptop. If it's someone that's, um, you know, like for good examples, my father, right? My father, he uses computers, um, but he doesn't know how to use iPads. Um, he's not, he's not, even though he uses computer, computers, he doesn't know how to use PowerPoints or slides. So if I'm going to wow him with a great presentation, it doesn't matter because the prospects always have three doubts in his mind. Number one, is this for real? Uh, which, if you have enough resources, materials, and the trust, they'll believe in you. But this, the second one is, can I do this? Will I be able to do what you do? And if you make it too fancy for them, it's not something they're used to. Doesn't matter how good the presentation, they won't be able to do it, right? So uh, that's number. That's the second one. And the third one is, will you help me? Which goes back to training. But can I do it? It's a big thing. So I always the format I use is always the one that's most duplicatable. So if it's for a younger person, I would use um, an iPad. Someone's older, like my grandfather or my father, I'll, I would use a newsletter, a company newsletter um, that shows the biz products because that's something they can do. Okay. Um, it also provides additional information as well. So if someone wants to learn more about the weight loss products, you know, for Gen Y, I may just press the video uh, on the iPad. That may, that, that would, you know, be pl plentiful. Uh, for someone who's older, they don't know how to even use the iPad. They think, oh, I have to get an iPad to do this business. They should get the wrong um, the wrong perception, right? So I would maybe have a printout or a company catalog for them or the newsletter for them. So the important thing is to think about what's most duplicatable. So in terms of what I bring, uh, the, you ask the questions like what charts or paper. Uh, first of all, I like to have my iPad with me. It's just convenient. If I have to access files, I have it as a backup. Plus, I don't know. Nowadays, more and more people use iPads, so I can show it's a cool thing. Um, but I'm going to give you a few tools. Okay. Uh, I, number one, I always bring my iPad. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. But if you do, I have it handy. I may not, you know, I may keep it in the bag, but I always have it handy. Okay. Uh, if I need to do online enrollments, I need to do something online right away to show them the website, I always have that available now. Now, um, so I have a list of things. First of all, you want to bring third-party tools. Okay, third-party tools such as like um, you know comparative guide to nutritional supplements. Uh, third-party tools like if the products listed in PDR have an excerpt of the PDR. That you know if you want to carry a big thick PDR around, you could, but it's probably not a good idea because then people think that they gotta carry that big thick book around, right? You really just out of the you know, thousands of pages out there. You only need like two or three pages that show us what the products are. So I have the PDR and other third-party um, rep credible resource. You know, if the company's been mentioned, such as years ago at Business Week, if it's been a Business Week, Forbes to cover, you know, printouts of those. I have those. If it's been recognized in Network Marketing Insider or Network Marketing Today, I have those printouts. Okay, to show. That, now it doesn't mean I'm going to show all of them, but I have them handy if. The situation arises where I need them. Um, another thing is um, the newsletter. Again, the newsletter. Why do I have the newsletter? If the person wants more information, that's something I give them. Back, I give it back to them. Or again, if it's someone who's older, like I said, someone like my, you know, who's seventy plus, sixty plus, I may just do a presentation using the newsletter. 
Okay, using the effective presentation formula, of course, but the newsletter is a, um, a kind of a guideline. If the person wants to learn more about the business, the newsletter is good um, for them to take home, for also for you to explain the pay plan. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Another thing I bring is the a product catalog. That is some, another take home thing. Now, sometimes people are not interested in business, or maybe they want a lot of, they have a lot of questions about the products, what are the ingredients, what are the dosages. That's when the product catalog is very, very useful. So I bring that with me. And uh, you could also bring tools like the average income earning chart and things like, you know, things like that to be safe to learn. Uh, now, I don't really actually use that to, be, you know, if you want to feel more comfortable, and this is what I used to do. I used to print out all the stuff, order one sheeters, the PDFs that the company had, and put it in a book. And over time, when you do a lot of presentations, you realize that a lot of it is just carrying extra weight because you don't need them, right? But to, if you're starting off, Darren, I, that's what I recommend: print them out, and then over time, after you did 10, 20, 30 presentations, you really you realize which are the same tools you'll go back. Okay, but right now I'm just giving you the basics, and um, another thing I would have a product, a main product. So you can do bring the essentials, right? Uh, or health pack or something. Main product in case they ask. Okay, in case they ask, uh, or do you want to give them a sample? Okay, or you can Nutrimeal sample, sh you know, shake sample. Um, but I would not again bring them out. The product. Sometimes people like to look at the labeling. They look at the packaging. Some people like to you know smell it. It again, there's different types of people. Some people are they call it olfactory, right? It's by uh, smell. Some people by auditory. Some people by sight. They're motivated by different things. So I always have the products in case they're interested. Then I show them the product. Okay. Again, review the effective presentations because I don't really go into you know detail about a product. I'm reading the prospect. If he wants to learn more, I have it for him to check out. So that's a must. And the last last thing important is uh, uh, two other things: price list. Okay. Um, you want to have it handy again? It goes back to what I said before. Print, it, go, go there, find all the tools, print out one copy of each, so you always have it. Nowadays, I don't do that again because I have everything on the iPad. Okay, but when I first started, I had the price. Actually, when I first started, I had a binder. I always bought the same binder everywhere, and when I traveled, I had the price list for every single market. So, for example, the U.S. price list, the Canada price list, the Mexico price list. I had everything because when I went to Asia, I would I would do different st stops. I, for example, I go to Manila, then I go to Singapore, and then go to Taiwan, and then go to the Hong Kong, and the Hong Kong to China. So, um, instead of the printout, I had everything in one binder. So it's easy for me to know the price list and the enrollment process. So the last thing is we talk about enrollment process. You want to have the application. Have the application, and I always just, you know uh, expect the sale, expect the sign up. So I'm I'm going out there expecting to get a sign up. And when I have the enrollment form, important thing is make sure you have the information you want them to fill out, highlight it. Okay, it's like when you buy a car, you buy a loan. The salesman just just doesn't give you the entire form. Because it looks intimidating. You're going to read all the stuff. The where, you know, they normally have you sign one one or two places. They just make a crisscross, right? So you just sign here, sign there. So make it simple. I just have them, the address, uh, maybe like the social security number, circle it, the name address, and then uh, and just at the bottom, fill out the credit card and sign it. I, or what packages, or how much you're going to cost. I don't even tell them. Don't worry about it. I, I take care of that on the back end, right? So um, that those are the tools I bring. Again, you can bring everything you want to start off, but the basics really are the third-party tools, okay, like uh, having the product there, and the newsletter to show them for the business side, like a take-home thing, and also a take-home tool, and also a product catalog that allows them to learn more about the products if they want to uh, go home and review it. And so that's it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. This is Simon Chan. Thank you again for watching my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. And remember, when the profession to help others. So go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all.